Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, people of God. Amen. We are, amen, here. It's prayer time. Let somebody know it's prayer time. It's time, amen, to pray. It's time to get before, amen, the presence of the Lord. Because in his presence is fullness of joy. In his presence is everything that we need. I don't know about you, but I need the Lord Jesus Amen. In everything I do. So it's praying time. Let somebody know it's praying time. Praise the Lord, Deacon Early. Let somebody know it's praying time. Let somebody know it's time to get before the throne of God. Praise the Lord, Sister Rankin. So good to see you. Amen. Let somebody know it's, it's about that time. Amen. To get into his presence. Praise the Lord, Sister Harris. It's about that time. Amen. To show up. Amen. For roll call and to be accountable. Amen. And to be present. Amen. God bless you, Sister Anissa. Amen. God has been truly good to us. He's worthy uh, to be praised. He is the orchestrator of every good and every perfect gift that comes our way. He is the enabler. Amen. That, that enables us uh, to go through our day by day activities. Not only go through our activities, but go through our activities with victory. Amen. He 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 is the, the the stabilizer. Amen. Of our attitude, of our vision, of our goals. He makes sure that whatever we put our hands to, Amen, works out for our good. He he's he's the one that that's behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, and in the scenes to make sure, Amen, that everything that we do ends up to us prospering and being in good health, even as our soul prospers. So it is praying time. It's time for us to come and speak to the Lord and get in front of his presence because we know that in his presence is fullness of joy. Amen. I, I don't know about anybody else. Amen. We can forget about a lot of things, but we can't never dismiss prayer. Prayer is our communication with our maker, with our Lord, with our king, with our father. Amen. If we don't communicate, then we have no relationship. And I pray that this is not the only time that you pray. Amen. I pray that every time you wake up, every time something formulates in your mind that you factor in Jesus. Because without us factoring Jesus, he is not the orchestrator, the leader, the guider, the planner of our day. But I guarantee you, amen, as sure as my name is Alexis Stone, if you factor in Jesus in everything that you do, I guarantee you that it does not matter what it looks like. It does not matter what it seems. Oh, my God, what it seems like is going to work out for your good. Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I need to stop. God bless you, Deacon Surratt. Amen. I saw somebody else. God bless you, Sister Sister Hector. So good to see you. Pastor misses you so very much. We're praying for you. I want to see your face. I want to see your face in the place. Amen. There's nothing like seeing, amen, uh, the people of God. I know things go on and things stop us. Amen. Uh, the cares of the world work. Everything stops us from getting there. But if you can sneak uh, a moment in, Sister Hector, I got a word for you from the Lord. I need to speak to you. Sister Sierra, so good to see you. Amen. We, we, we are just, I'm just excited. I'm so excited to be, amen, in a place, in a place that I didn't know I would be in, but a place that God already orchestrated from the beginning of the world to be in a place where I can be used for his glory. I don't know about you. It, nothing else matters because if, if he uses me for his glory, uh, Sister Wilson, I know that I'm going to be a vessel of honor, amen. I'm going to be a vessel that's meet for him to use for his glory. And, I, and, and nothing else matters. As long as a man's ways please God, the Bible declares that we're going to have everything that we put, amen, our hand to, everything that we speak. Our words will be his words. Our thoughts will be his thoughts. If a man ways please God. See, I, we have to line up with pleasing the Lord Jesus Christ. And if we pick God first, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto. Okay, I ain't come to preach. I come to pray. So we're going to pray. We're going to get before the Lord. Come on to attack somebody. Share this with somebody. Don't keep this prayer to yourself. Tell them it's praying time. Tell them to come on. In the room, ooh, come on, in the room, because mm -hmm. Jesus is my doctor, 
And he writes out all my prescriptions. And he gives me all my medicine. In the room, I see you, Sister Tawana. Come on, sing it with me one time, y'all. Whoa, come on. In the room, I see you, Sister Beverly. Oh, come on. In the room. Because Jesus is my doctor. And he writes out all my prescriptions. And he gives me all my medicine. In the room. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to say thank you. Oh God, we're thanking you because you've been so mighty good to us. We're thanking you because you allowed us, Lord, the activities of our limbs. We woke up with blood running warm in our veins, a portion of health and strength whereby we want to tell you thank you. Thank you because you allowed, Lord, us to have the mobility of our mind. You allowed us, Lord, to make decisions this morning, you allowed us to dress ourselves and you allowed us to go through our morning activities. And from then to now, you have been, amen, gracious to us. And we want to tell you, thank you. Ah, uh, uh, God, we're thanking you because we realize that you did not have to touch us this morning uh, with the finger of love. Lord, we thank you because we realize that somebody planned to be here this morning. Somebody planned to go to work. Somebody planned to get out of their bed. Someone planned activity, but they were not here, amen, to see it through. And we want to say thank you because you look beyond our faults and you saw our needs. You look beyond, amen, our incapabilities. Uh, and you saw our needs. You look beyond our handicaps. Uh, and you saw our needs. You look beyond our slowful attitude. Uh, and you still saw our needs, not only our needs, but you blessed us even in our valley experience. Ah, uh, uh, God, we want to thank you not for being on a mountaintop. We, we want to thank you for not having everything that we want. We, we want to thank you for not having, amen, the surplus that, that, that we know we will have, but we're thanking you, God, even in our valley, even in the midst of our trials, even in the midst of our tribulation, even in the midst of us being persecuted, even in the midst of us being lied on and talked about, ridiculed. Uh, oh, God, we thank you because, amen, you're still God and you're still on the throne, God, and we realize, God, that if we would allow you to fight our battles, uh, mm, that we will obtain victory. God, today we yield. Oh, Shia, oh my God. Today we yield to your will. Today we yield to your way, God. And we tell you today to have thine own way, God. We give our enemies to you, God. We, we give our haters to you. We give our persecutors to you, God. We give the ones that, that, that mistreat us and stab us in the back. We give them to you, God, in love. And we ask that you bless them. We, we ask that you make a way for them. We, we ask that you make their crooked places straight. Uh, oh, God, we ask that you would allow love to permeate their hearts. Uh, and God, at the end, we want you to draw them into your fold. Uh, draw them as only you can draw them in God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and God, while we hear and while we feel your presence, uh, we want to tell you, Lord, that we appreciate uh, you protecting our going out and our coming in. Uh, we appreciate you dispatching the angels. Uh, oh, God, to guard us, oh, God, uh, on our left and on our right, in front and in back. Uh, oh, God, we want to thank you for the hedge of protection uh, that you have placed around your people. Uh, and God, we want to thank you for allowing us to uh, to obtain new ground. Uh, oh God, we want to say thank you uh, for bringing us into our now season. Uh, oh God, we might not see it in its totality. Uh, oh God, but for what we see right now, uh, we will want to tell you thank you uh, because we realize uh, what's coming is better than what is. Uh, we realize, uh, oh God, that we've been made endure for a night. Uh, mm, but your joy will come in the morning time. Uh, we realize, God, uh, that we can't have victory uh, unless we go through the trials uh, that you went through. You said uh, in your word that if any man come after you, uh, 
We must first deny ourselves. Take up our cross and follow you. Give us patience. Give us grace. And give us mercy to endure this race. Good Lord. Hold us by power and divine. Put a bridle on our tongue. I said put a bridle on our tongue. In the name of Jesus. Speak peace in the midst of turmoil. Speak peace in the midst of anger. Speak peace in the midst of anger and confusion. In the name of Jesus. Let peace cover your people. Let tranquility cover your people. Give us a clear mind. Clear focus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, bind up the enemy that comes to confuse us. Bind up the enemy that comes to bring us off focus. In the name of Jesus. Help us keep our eyes on you. And lead us with your spirit. Guide us with your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, take everything that we have. Oh God, everything that stands in our way of you. Oh God, and right now, at this very moment, we want you to bind it at his root. Oh God, we want you to bind it at his root. Oh God, everything that came to bring us down. We want your anointing to destroy every stronghold. Everything that came to bring us tears. We want you to bind it right now. Oh God, I speak blessings. I declare prosperity. In the name of in the name of Jesus, uh, open up that door, uh, make that way, uh, you see that mother, uh, you see that father, uh, you see that child, uh, open up the windows of heaven, uh, oh God, and shower out a blessing uh, that we won't have room to receive, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, move by your power, uh, move by your power, oh, 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 yeah. Move by your power. Shake this place. Shake the foundation. Oh God, allow your blessings. Oh God, to come from the east and from the west. Let the winds blow. Oh God, favor your people. Let this be our weekend season. Oh God, the things that are counted up. The things that are stored up. Oh God, cause a release to come. Cause a release uh, to overshadow your people. Uh, breathe on your people uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, somebody need healing. Uh, heal up, see, uh, heal right now. Uh, touch that body. Uh, touch those lungs. Uh, oh, touch that head. Uh, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, touch that stomach area. Uh, move by your power. Uh, oh, God, dismiss uh, the attack of the enemy. Uh, Allow us long victory in the battle that we don't have to fight. Oh God, obtain victory for your people in the name of Jesus. Put us in high places so that we can declare that you alone are God. And beside you, there is, I feel the Holy Ghost, that there is no other. Oh God, plant our feet. Make it on solid foundation. Everywhere we step, allow it to be an inheritance unto us. God, everywhere we step, allow your anointing to take control. Oh God, bless our families. Bless our friends. Bless our circle. And everything we touch, allow it to prosper. In the name of Jesus, oh God, hold us up. Hold us up. Stretch us wide. Let us go higher in your anointing. In the name of Jesus, let us speak those things that are not until they come to pass. Oh God, set up a prophetic. Set up prophetic and apostolic. Oh God, anointing on your people. Bless the head. Bless the tail. Bless your company. In the name of Jesus, healing upon healing. Bless our bodies. Bless our spirits. Bless our vision. 
my God, my God, my God from Zion. Oh, God, do it for your glory. Oh, hallelujah, glory to God. We'll give you glory. Mm. We'll give you honor. Oh, my God, my God, I feel such a shift in your spirit. Oh, God, we'll give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. I, Lord, have mercy. Listen, I don't know where you are. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what's, what's, what's in your path. I don't know, amen, what the enemy thought he would do. But I heard God said it's already canceled. I, I heard God, oh, my God. I heard God say what the enemy tried to do out is already canceled. Now, God has destroyed, oh, my God. God has dismissed the assignment of the enemy. Now, so wherever you are today, whatever you're going through, I don't even want you to think about it no more. God said, I called, amen, you to victory uh, over your enemy. Deliver, oh my God. Now, deliverance has come to your home. Uh, oh, I wish I was in church and I feel like dancing. I feel like running. Uh, mm, God, because I know I got the victory. Uh, I got the robot. Oh, my God. Oh my, I got the victory. I feel it in my bones. I, I feel it in my spirit. Listen, all you got to do is speak it and claim it. And God said it's going to, I don't know who I'm talking to. Amen. You can't keep silent. You can't keep silent. You got to open up your mouth. God said, I can't do it unless you speak it. I can't do it unless you speak it. You have to open up your mouth, decree and declare. Amen. What you need God to do in your life. God is ready to show and tell. He, he's tired of talking. He's ready to show and tell. He said, can I use you for oh, 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 oh my God. He said, can I use you for my glory? Uh, he said, can I use you? Can, can I count on you? Can I depend on you? you? You can't tap out in the middle of the struggle. You, you can't tap out in the middle of the sickness. You, you can't tap out in the middle of the confusion. But God said, if you just hold on, I'm going to bring, oh my God, I'm going to bring you through with a strong arm. Oh, I feel the anointing of the whole, I got to go. I got to, whoo, my God from Zion. Listen, Pastor, oh my God, I feel, oh Lord, have mercy. I, 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 don't, I don't know what he about to do, but he about to do a thing, amen, in the lives of his people. And I feel a spiritual shift. Oh my God, that's going to blow the enemy's mind. Oh my, he's about to do what he said he would do. I got to get off here. Listen. I am Dr. Alexis Stone. I am the senior pastor of Upper Room Worship Center. Our physical location is 1008 Main Street West in the great city of Valdez, North Carolina. Amen. And if you would just, amen, enter into the glory of the Lord, into his house. If you can be with us on Sunday morning, 1045 a.m. starts our corporate prayer. 11 a.m. starts our worship service. You are here right now on our noonday prayer, 12 noon. Tomorrow, Wednesday, 7 p.m. is our Bible study. Listen, we're preaching out this Friday in Greensboro, amen, North Carolina at 7, I believe it's 7 p.m. Amen. I, um, I, I have the address posted on my page. If, if you are in the Greensboro or surrounding area this Friday at 7 p.m., amen, Pastor Stone will be preaching, amen, um, in, in Greensboro, amen, for the birthday celebration of, of Pastor uh, uh, Tracy Houston. So we're, we're, we'll post that address on our page and you can be with us, come support us. If not, pray for us because I know that you're praying for me. I can feel it, amen, day by day. Listen, I posted something on this prayer in the beginning. We're launching YouTube, amen. They're asking for subscribers. I need each and every one of you, amen, to go on the top of this link. Go on our YouTube subscription channel, and I need you to subscribe. We're going to be posting our content there. We're going to be launching YouTube live from there, and I need your help. If, if, if you believe, amen, that the, the world needs to hear what we have to say, if you believe that we are anointed of God, if you believe that we are doing what God said to do, come on, support us, amen, that we can pick this gospel out into all of the land. The, the Bible says, go ye therefore into the whole world and preach the gospel. We're we, we trying to... We, we're trying to uncover the whole world if we can help us do that. This is the time for you, amen, to help us. Go to that YouTube channel, click subscribe, amen. We'll be putting content on it. Hopefully, we'll be able to stream live from YouTube. 
from Facebook, from Instagram, and also our webpage. Amen. Our webpage is still coming up. It's there, but it's not where it's supposed to be. So go ahead and lock it in early. www.upperroomwc.org. It's coming. It's coming. God is ready to do great things for our ministry. And while I'm here talking to you, we are looking for a new location. In the Hickory, Newton, Gastonia, maybe uh, maybe Statesville, or even uh, we 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 just we just trying to get another location, Amen. So if you can see anything, Amen, that help, Amen. Upper room, we are looking. We got realtors already working, but I know God, Amen, can work behind the scenes. So I'm just putting it out there because I got to speak it. We need a new location. We need a new location now. That's ours. We're not renting anything. We want to buy. We want to break ground or we want to get a building that will suit the needs, amen, that God has performed, amen, in our spirits. Listen, if you need more information on that, inbox me. I'll be able to dialogue with you. Listen, Pastor Stone loves you so very much. I'm going to give you the rest of the day. Listen, pray for one another. Pray for me. Pray for the ministry that God placed in my hand. Pray for my family. Pray for my finances. Pray for everything that God has endowed upon his manservant. And you know I'm praying for you. That's what I do all day, every day, because I know that the Lord will turn it all the way around just for you. Listen, Pastor Stone loves you in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be blessed, and I'll speak to you soon.